I became aware of advanced directives about 13 to 15 years ago when my grandmother became very, very ill. And um, she just started talking about what she didn't want. She, if I get in the hospital and I've been in there for a long time and they want to hook me up to a bunch of, you know, bells and whistles as she referred to it as, she said, I, I really, I don't want all that. I want you guys to know that I don't want to do that. I've had a good life. I'm 83 years old. And it triggered a conversation right there with her doctors, my mother, her daughter. And we were able to complete one with her before she passed and she got her wishes. And it was really felt good. It really felt good that even though she had passed, she passed exactly the way that she wanted to. And the family has happy memories of that. And I think that um, is really what started the conversation in my family. When my mom did hers, uh, which was like 13 years ago, uh, I didn't do it right away, but then um, I was gonna have surgery and I was working with Providence and I spoke to my husband about it and he immediately said, I don't know why we haven't had this conversation sooner, let's get the document. And so we did ours about seven years ago. What I want people to know is anybody can have one and everybody should. And my, I've asked my kids now, my, they're in their 20s. I've asked them to start thinking about it. We had a good conversation around it. And you kind of have to put the scenarios in front of folks to realize it's, it's an opportunity to have our own wishes met. And so it doesn't matter how old you are.